Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to part three of the Tic-Tac-Toe tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna wrap things up. We're gonna complete the last two functions that we need for this game. Before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really would appreciate it. All right, let's open up the file that we've been working on. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the press function and we're gonna call on the check win function that we're gonna create in this video. So at the end of the first if statement and then on the else statement as well. So we're basically calling on check win after every move that is made. All right, let's delete play and let's uncomment check win. Okay, let's get started with the check win function. What the check win function is going to do, it's going to check all the possible ways that you can win this game, whether you're X or your O. These are all the different ways that you can win. We're going to create an if statement. We're going to start with these here. Let's create an if statement in here. We're going to type in btn1 dot get. So it's going to grab whatever's in the btn1 text variable, and it's going to check to see if there's an X in there. Now we're going to grab whatever's inside of btn2 and we're going to check if there's an x inside of there and we're also going to grab whatever's inside of btn3 and we're going to check if there's an x in there if there is then x wins right but that only takes care of one possible way that x can win we have to take care of all the other ways that x can win and what were the other ways so this was one now we're going to do four five and six so we're just going to change this to four five and six next we're going to do seven eight and nine and then we got one four seven two five eight three six nine One five nine and three five seven. We can delete this or because we don't have anything else to check. If X wins, we want there to be a pop up box that says player X wins. To do that, we're going to type in tkinter message box dot show info. And inside these brackets, we get to set two different things. The first thing we're going to set is this window that's going to pop up. We can actually set a title on it. So let's call it tic tac toe. And inside these quotes here, we're going to actually type what we want to display. In this case, we're going to say player X wins. And then we're going to set click to true at this point. The reason that we're going to set click to true is because whenever the game resets, we want click to be true. That way, when they click on a button, press is going to get called if click equals to true. And it is going to be equal to true because we just set it to true there. And we want the first image after the game resets to be a X every time. That's why we reset it to, that's why we reset click to true here. We also want to set count to zero because the game is over. So it's going to start from the beginning. And we want to call on our clear function that we're going to create in a second. We also want to call on play. 
what that's going to do, it's going to reset the game. So it's going to go back to like if you never played it and you can keep playing it over and over again. Okay, this if statement accounts for X. We also have to account for O. So we're just going to copy and paste all this code here. And we're going to put it here. We just have to change the X's to O's. All right, let's set count to zero. Let's call in the clear function and the play function. And we don't actually have to set click to anything at this point because if O does win, we already set click to true. Therefore, when the game resets, click is gonna be equal to true and the first move is gonna be X. All right, that accounts for O. Now we have to account for if this is a count game. So we're gonna say if count equals nine, at that point, it would be a tie game. If it's a tie game, we wanna output a message. So let's type in the same thing, tkinter message box, show info. And remember, we are able to use this because of what we brought in at the beginning of the project, which was the import tkinter message box. Let's type in tic-tac-toe here. And here we wanna say tie game. We wanna set click to true, count to zero. Let's call on clear and let's call on play. Now let's work on our clear function. This one's gonna be the easiest one of them all. All we have to do is set each one of the text variables to an empty string. All right, that's it. I think we should be good. Let me just make sure that I didn't forget anything. And actually I did right here in the O section. If O wins, we didn't actually include a message for if player O wins. So let's just copy and paste this message here. And let's paste it here. Let's just change the X to a O. And let's line this up nice and straight here. Another thing that I forgot is I didn't bring in our global variables. So just type in global count and click and that's it. We should be good. Let's go ahead and run it now. And let's see how it came out. I'm going to go for X winning just to check to see if everything is working correctly. And it is the game resets. Now let's try to make O win. O wins. Now let's try to make it a tie game. And I usually suck at making uh, the tie game, so I don't assure you that I will. And I, and I, oh my God, are you kidding me? It was right there in front of my face. Like, let's try it again. All 
All right, there we go. Cool. So all three are working good. And that's it. That's how you make this game. I hope you guys learned a trick or two. It was fun teaching you guys how to create this game. I'm working on another project right now that I can't wait to show you guys. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank <laughs> you.